Jeff Carroll has a long question. It's a good one. I'm struggling with lease option from seller and then lease option to tenant buyer. Concerned about how to deliver, I'm, say, I'm assuming that's fees, if seller dies, bankrupt, probate, disappears, etc. How can I get the seller to put a deed into escrow so as to be able to deliver the deed when the tenant buyer is ready to close? Well, Jeff, that's a very important and valuable question. Listen, you always, always, always have to protect your buyer, the person who's optioning to buy that property from you. You have to be in a position to deliver that deed to them when the time is right. So you have to set yourself up for success. And that means you cannot take no for an answer from your seller. Your seller must, and indeed, I will not do the deal unless the seller is willing to place the deed in escrow with escrow instructions. Now, Jeff, what that means is that when you do what you said you would do according to the terms of that option agreement, then you get your deed. There is no further discussion about it. So you must negotiate those things. And Jeff, I know you're street smart. You probably have volume nine lease options. In volume nine, there's escrow instructions. You want to go back to your seller and you want to say to your seller, hey, listen, I couldn't sleep last night. I was really concerned. I thought about it. What if something happens to you and I've made a promise to someone else and I can't deliver on my promise because I've got to wait for your entire estate to get probated. And the Lord knows when our next minute is, and we don't know if we're promised that next minute or not. We don't know what might happen. So therefore, I'm asking you politely, please, I want you to put your property, put the deed in escrow. And in fact, I want to ask you to do one more thing. I want to ask you to put your property in trust and put the beneficial interest in escrow. And that means if you get sued, then I'm protected. If you, if you get into a divorce, I'm protected. If you die, I'm protected because all of those things are already handled in uh, number one, putting the property in trust and number two, taking that beneficial interest and putting it in escrow with escrow instructions. Great question, Jeff. All right. This is where coaching comes in, Jeff, because those are key elements that when you have the support of a coach, you can ask those questions ongoingly. You can have your situation reviewed to make sure that you've dotted your I's and crossed your T's and you're, you're having it looked at from an investor's point of view, not just a legal point of view.